Okay, we are loaded up into Photomatix now and you can see that this is nowhere where we want to be as far as this photo goes. So let's go and select some different presets. Let's see what gets us the closest to where we actually want to be. Now for this photo, I think I'm gonna go with probably the mid HDR, HDR mid, and let's make some adjustments from here. Now number one, the first thing I'm noticing is that the tonal range is really pushed off to the right side and in our highlight area in particular, we're not preserving enough detail. So what I'm gonna do is compress our luminosity and remember that pushes our tone curve off to the left. And so we're just gonna compress it down a little bit more and really kind of looking to preserve as much of this uh, sky detail as possible. This is starting to look much, much better already. Let's also take our strength up to 100. And let's see if that gives us a little bit more of that as well. I'm not too worried about this foreground area, although I don't want it this dark. I want it to be a little bit brighter, but I'm also gonna be using that original image as our blend mode for basically that kind of front shadowy area. So I'm not too worried you know, if it's a little bit dark in the rock. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of extra detail contrast just because we have a lot of fine detail in this rock and it's great to bring it out a little bit. Let's also modify our lighting adjustment just to make sure we have a nice smoothing effect. You can see how pulling it off to the left really kind of starts creating that surreal HDR look where we start to have these weird lighting shifts, these really kind of in, in tonal range. It doesn't really look good. So let's uh, pull it off to the right, kind of smooth it out just a little bit. I'm gonna say 1.5 is about right. We're going to smooth out the highlights just a tiny bit more because we do have quite a bit of highlights in this image. I'm gonna lower the white point. Once again, this is another one of those things that's gonna affect the sky and we do wanna retain as much of that sky as possible. So let's just lower it down a little bit. With gamma, I'm actually gonna lower it down as well so we can reduce the brightness. And you can start seeing that we can see all the sky now. We see quite a bit of detail in the rock, but it is a little bit on the dark side, but no worries because we're blending it back with a bright image, uh, which is gonna be that, you know, the original raw file. Okay, everything else is looking pretty solid. Let's bring micro smoothing down a bit because I do want to show a little bit more of this detail, especially in the rock. So let's not smooth it out so much that it's not showing that. I might bring gamma up just a tiny bit. There we go. That's starting to look pretty solid. Okay, once again, because we know that we're gonna be blending with another version of this image, it doesn't have to absolutely be perfect with this one, all right? We just need to make sure that we can see what we wanna see in that HDR processed file so we can pull that back into our blended file. At this point, it's done. Let's click Save and Re-Import, and let's go to our next video where we're gonna prepare our raw file and then bring these into Photoshop.